Hey, Chris, I have one question for you. What are those? I'm glad you asked, because I'm going to break down what an HMI extender is in about two minutes. So I can learn how to love. Basically, an HMI extender is a point-to-point -point device. Essentially, it does exactly what the, what the name implies. It extends our HMI signals from our sources, aka Blu-ray player, cable box, to our displays or TVs. The reason why we use these devices is because a standard HMI cable should never... Exceed 40 to 50 feet from your source to your display. The typical result, if your cable's too long, you'll see some pixelation, flickering, as well as complete picture loss. Extenders assist us in resolving this issue by using a category Cat5 cable, Cat6 cable that can carry transmissions long distances. There are different types of extenders offered. We have this little guy here, which is very basic. It's got an HDMI input or output and a local area network connection. And we got this guy here, as you can see, we have VGA connections, HDMI connections, and optical, as well as RS-232 and so forth. So you're going to want to look at your design and your requirements for your environment to see which one of these guys you're going to need or something in between. The other thing I want to discuss real quick is our category cables. This here is a CAT6 cable, basically what you plug your laptop and home into your router or your switch. With these types of cables, you can get Cat5, Cat6, Cat7, shielded, non-shielded, plenum. So you have a multitude of options out there. Category cable is much more efficient to run through walls, attics, and crawl spaces versus a large HDMI cable, especially with the bulky head on it. You'd be surprised, but it's a lot easier and faster to drill quarter inch holes in a new home project versus one inch holes, saving time and money, especially when you got over 100 holes to drill. Another benefit to category cable is it's less likely to fail over time. HDMI cables, you will find over time, tend to just stop working. This guy won't, unless you put a nail in it. The only real con is if you're a hardcore gamer. HDMI extenders over CAT cables are currently pushing about 60 Hz refresh rate. Uh, using HDMI connections 1.3, 1.4, 2 2.0. If you really want 120 Hz for that game system and your game console supports it, you just went out and got a new TV with the new HDMI 2.1 uh, connection which allows 4K at 120 Hz, you may want to consider getting a fiber optic cable with HDMI connectors as the best alternative for long distance transmission. But if you're not a hardcore gamer, 60 Hz is sufficient. Broadcasting requirements are at 60 Hz and we don't expect those to change anytime soon. These things range from $100 to $900. There are a multitude of options as well as a variety of connections for different solutions. Well, I hope this helps shed some light on exactly what an HDMI extender accomplishes, as well as the differences between the types of extenders, the cabling offered, and the alternative methods for transmitting HDMI signals if you're looking for faster speeds. Thank you again for joining us here at BZB Express TV. Please hit that subscribe and like button if you enjoyed the video. Also, feel free to contact our sales team if you have any questions regarding this technology or any other AV questions. We're here for you.